Let's look at how to format the title page in APA format. There are several steps that you could do to achieve this goal very easily in Word 2007 or 2010, and I'll actually demonstrate doing that. But first, if you wanted to know how to format your paper in e APA format, where could you look? Well, if you did a search for APA format, the first two resources you would find were this owl.english.purdue.edu, excellent source, and here are some subheadings that you could look for, and then apastyle.org is also another good site that you could look at. Let's start with how to set up the paper. First you'll choose No Spacing Style, then set the default font to Times New Roman 12 point and the line spacing to double. I'm going to do that for you now. If you wanted to have notes, you could make a print screen of this screen and then paste it in a Word document. And here is my Word document. First I'm going to choose No Spacing Style up on the ribbon, and then I'm going to come back, I'm on the Home tab here, back to the Font Dialog Box Launcher is what they call it, and change my default font to Times New Roman, whoops, I forgot, I forgot the 12 point. 12 point and set it as default down in the bottom left hand corner. Now my font is going to be Times New Roman for this entire document. I could do it only for this document or for all of my documents when I open Word. You can choose what you like. Okay, got that done. Let's go back and get the next set. Oh, double spaced, double spaced up here under line spacing double now one thing you should check to be sure if you forgot to put no spacing style in is that here on the page layout tab there would be I don't know some number of points after six points after something like that you don't want for APA to have any points after it should be zero and zero so we got the first uh, PowerPoint slide done. Let's go get the next one. Here's the next slide. We're going to make our page header. We're going to write the word running head in the left margin and we're only going to capitalize the first letter and then we'll put a colon at the end. We'll type the name of our paper in all capital letters 50 or fewer characters. If you have more than 50 characters you have to use only the main words. Then we'll press the tab key twice to get to the right margin and in the current location add a plain page number. I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to double click up in the top to get into the header, type running head with a colon and then I'm going to type the name of my paper in all capital letters. Turn off the caps lock and press the tab key twice. Do you see here on the ruler bar? Oh, don't know how to turn on the ruler bar. Okay, you can go up to view ruler or on the right hand side of the page there's a tiny strange looking picture that's supposed to be a ruler but you would never understand it unless you saw the picture up close. That will toggle it on and off. So I have my ruler. Press the tab key once to get to the center and once more to get to the right margin. Do you see where? And that's a right tab. Now I got off my header footer tools design tab when I went to view so let me go back to header footer tools design tab and on the left hand side I'll click the drop down box beside page number choose current position plain number and that will put each individual page number on my document for me. Okay, got that part done. Let me close the header footer. 
Do you know the other way to get out? Just double click in the text also takes you out. Maybe you didn't know that. Let's go get the next slide. The next task is to put the actual title page information. It will be, if it's supposed to be centered on the page, and a page is 11 inches, then if we start at about 5 inches and put three lines of text, that should be pretty good. We'll put the name of our paper, my name, don't put any degrees, PhD or MA or something beside it, none of that, and the institution name. I do have my header footer on uh, my um, show hide key turned on. It's on the home tab. You know, you don't if you don't have it turned on, you don't see these backwards P's, but I'll tell you what, it makes life much easier if you have those turned on. You have to get used to it. And then on the left hand side is my ruler, and I'm going to press the enter key until I get down to about five inches yeah that's close and then I'm going to center my line no I'm not pressing the space bar to get over there I'm going to press the centered alignment tab and I'll type my paper is about uh, computers I don't know and then I'll put my name and then I'll put my university. Now press the enter key once more. Now I'm going to stop and go back and see the next instruction. I'm almost done. One more thing I have to do. On the subsequent pages, you need to set up a different header. So on a new line that's left aligned, I'm still on the title page. I didn't do that part yet. I will show you in a second. Press page layout, breaks, section breaks, next page. Then unlink the header from the previous section. That allows the page headers to be different. And you'll find that in the center of the ribbon. Remove running head and leave the title. And then just return to your text. And that's all there is to it. Let's go see how that works. Here I'm on a new line. It's still centered. So I'm going to change it back to left aligned. Then I'm going to go to page layout, breaks, section breaks, you see here, section breaks, next page. I have to get back into my header, just double click. And I'm going to remove where it says, wait, 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 wrong order. You see where it says link to previous? Do you see how this says section 1 and this says section 2? I'm going to unlink it so it's not... Oh wait, let me show you one more thing. Look down here. You see how it says same as previous? I don't want it to be the same as previous. I want a different header. So I'm going to click there where it says link to previous and it shuts off that uh, link to the previous section so that now in section 2 I can remove where it says running head and leave the title of the paper all in caps and then I can either close my header footer or double click down in the text section and I'll be all ready to type my text. Now if you want to you can watch another video and I'll show you how to set up the rest of the paper. It's not so bad, easy thing to do, but I'll have to show you how. That will get you going on your title page.